Recently, while in one of our local stores in the gardening section, I noticed this Jiffy tomato and vegetable greenhouse kit. And I thought that's just the perfect way for a beginner to start seeds inside and get those plants ready to transplant into the garden by spring after that last frost date. Let's get started on going through this step by step. I decided to go with the 16 peat pellet kits. The 16 peat pellet kits are the larger pellets and they look like they were ideal for planting tomatoes. A very important thing is to make sure you have great seeds. I order my seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They're not a sponsor of this video, but I have had great success with their seeds. These tomatoes that I'll be planting are Cherokee Purple and the Abe Lincoln tomatoes. Another very important step before you get started, I like to go ahead and make labels for my plants. It's best to make the labels before, that way you just don't forget it, and you'll have those labels ready as soon as you start planting those seeds. In this particular kit, they do provide you with a sample of some vitamins, but I decided not to use the vitamins. Now it's time to add some water. It's important to know that it does work better with warm water. You'll want to add one and a half inches of warm water and then watch the pellets rise. You might have to add a little extra water. If you have too much water, that's no problem because after the pellets get to about two to two and a half inches, you'll need to pour any of the excess water out anyway. The next step is to peel back the netting. You want to go around just with your hands and open up the netting so you can get the seeds in. And I just peeled around just so it opens it all the way around just like a flower pot would look. And then you'll want to fluff the peat. You can either chop it up or get your hands and just loosen the soil at the top to make it easier for planting. And it will need to be just a little bit loose for that seed. Next, we'll poke the hole for the seeds. You can use a pencil, a pen, a nail, anything like that. It's very important that that seed be the correct depth. You can find the correct depth on the seed packet. A lot of information on there. Or you can just remember the rule of thumb is the seed is usually planted twice as deep as it is wide. That's twice as deep as the narrow side. Next, we'll plant the seeds. These tomato seeds are small. Lettuce seeds are even smaller. So you'll probably want to find something to help you with this. I use just one of the labels that were included in the kit to help me plant the seeds. When you're planting these seeds, you'll want to plant them two to three seeds each hole because you can thin them out later. Now we'll get the humidity dome, put the humidity dome on, and you'll have to make sure that humidity dome seals around. I like to use the seed starting heat mats. Now, the seed starting heat mats will keep the base of the tray warm. You can do the same thing by sitting this tray on top of the refrigerator. That heat is necessary as the seeds germinate to help them germinate faster. I like to use regular grow lights for my situation, but you can also use a shop light fixture with a warm bulb and a cool bulb. Whatever light you get, Please make sure it's UL listed or listed by one of the other reputable organizations for safety. Because of safety, you never want to get one of these cheap fixtures that you find online. After your seeds germinate and start to sprout, once they have two leaves, it's time to start thinning them out. You'll want to leave the strongest ones and pick out the weaker ones. When the plants get ready, I'll transplant them into these containers and also use some of the seed starting mix, maybe some potting soil, as they get ready to be planted into the garden just after the last frost date. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please hit the like button and subscribe and leave your comments. Let us know how your success is going in the garden. And also I have another video that I made more detailed about starting seeds. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video and also in the description.